Cigarettes, the finest quality money can buy. Presents Danny Thomas as Danny Williams. Gene Hagen as Margaret Williams with Sherry Jackson and Rusty Hamer as their children in Make Room for Daddy. Skimming over the water at 30 knots, and then a perfect jump, a perfect landing, smooth, graceful, thrilling. And now for a well-deserved reward. Yes, reward yourself with the pleasure of smooth smoking. Refresh yourself with freshly lit flavor. Smoke Pell-Mell. Pell-Mells are longer. Their greater length of fine tobaccos travels the smoke further, filters the smoke, and makes it mild. But you get more than greater length. Pell-Mell tobaccos are finer, the finest quality money can buy. And remember, fine tobacco is its own best filter. You get a natural self-filtering action that makes your Pell-Mell milder. So mild, so cool, and so delicious, it tastes freshly lit, puff after puff. So enjoy a smoothness, mildness, and satisfaction no other cigarette can offer you. Smoke Pell-Mell famous cigarettes, outstanding. And they are mild. Greetings, Chester. Are you the cat that's auditioning your companies for the USO tour? Yeah, I I'm Danny Williams. Doug Adams. <laughs> well, Mr. Adams, this, uh, sit down. This tour is very important to me, and but I'm not looking for just uh, a piano player. I need an accompanist, somebody that works right in the act. Now, we, I take it slow and easy. Nothing uh, exciting, you know. Just take it calm like, okay? Mellaroni, I like your style, crocodile. <laughs> Let's uh, start with this number here, uh, when you're smiling. Oh, know the number well, Jack. <laughs> My name is Danny. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Why don't we just start on the right foot and you call me by my real name, huh? Get with it, friend. Nobody calls nobody by their real name. That's Squaresville, George. Uh, shall we try it? Okay, Malcolm. <laughs> when you're smiling. Yep. When you're smiling. 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 When you're What are you playing? When you're smiling, Lester, when you're smiling. <laughs> My name is not Lester. It's Danny. Would you please play the melody, huh? I wouldn't be caught dead playing the melody. <laughs> Let's try it this way. <laughs> Get with it, man. Get with it. I'd like to get with it. Where is it? <laughs> Can I get you boys anything? Not a thing, Hazel. Not a thing. <laughs> Hazel? Yeah, Margaret. Hazel. Hazel. Get hip, kid. What are you, from Squaresville? Nobody calls nobody but a real name. Ain't that right, Dougsy? Right, Tom. Well, I'll tell you, Mal. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I've gonna hear a few more boys before I make up my mind, so I'll let you know, huh? I uh, don't mention it. Just give me five. <laughs> I haven't got any money on me. You got five dollars? No, I don't mean Jack, Jack. Slip me five. Fingers. Oh, Press oh. the flesh. Oh. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. <laughs> Number six or number seven? Section eight. <laughs> Trouble, honey. It shouldn't be that hard to find a piano player. 
I'm not looking for just the piano player. I want an accompanist, somebody to work in the act, somebody that knows the ropes, that can feed me. Guys like that don't grow on bushes, honey. I'm gonna call the USO and tell them I'm not going, that's all. Danny, you can't do that. You know how important entertainment was to the boys during the war? Well, it's even more important now. This Cold War isn't so hot for them, so stop being fussy and pick somebody. Who's being fussy? You expect me to pick somebody like that? How would I look on a stage? I, I'm, I'm a kind of a guy that does a reserved act. You ever see me do... I can read the... I'm 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 the
That's it. Now you've got dignity. Good. Now we begin. <laughs> well, you ought to smile. And you're laughing. <laughs> Why don't you try hark hark the laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't uh, get the idea. See, I, I, I tell you, I don't want to insult you or anything, Mr. Arsene. See, but I, uh, I don't just need an accompanist. I need somebody that knows the rope, somebody that can feed me. Well, uh, uh, Madame Cobra, she ate by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, just the same. I, I think, I think that for the benefit of all concerned, it would be much better if you continued accompanying Mrs. Kobler. Oh, impossible. Oh, why? She retired. She retired? Yeah, right in the middle of, of Madame B Butterfly. A sandbag fell and hit her on the <laughs> If I was you, I wouldn't sing Madame Butterfly. <laughs> you can't kill a man for trying. <laughs> no, but you can bruise him a little bit for interfering in your business. I'll get my own accompanist. What are you, a blocking back or something? Oh, Danny, no, what's all the trouble? I still don't think it'd do any harm to ask Harry Ruby. Honey, huh? I can't ask Harry. I'd be embarrassed to ask him, I told you. Big man, for heaven's sake. I'll make an accompanist out of him. Hey, wait a minute. You got something. Of course I have. No, no, I don't mean to ask him to go. That's out of the question. But he'd certainly know who to recommend. If anybody knows where to find a piano player, it's Harry Ruby. Well, why don't you call him? We'll do better than that. I'll go see him. Well, now you're cooking, Lester. <laughs> Thanks, Zelda. <laughs> yourself with the pleasure of smooth smoking. Get Pell-Mell Famous Cigarettes. Outstanding. And they are mild. I don't know what to do with myself. Everybody's busy but me. Why don't you play golf? I don't want to play golf. Well, why don't you go to the club and play cards? I don't feel like playing cards. Here, why don't you sew? You haven't got a thimble that fits me. <laughs> you know something? I feel useless. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're not useless at all. Oh, yes, I am. I, I don't do anything. I write a song, wait to get it published. Then I wait six months to see if it'll be a hit or a flop. Sometimes you wait a whole year. I've got to find something to do to keep me busy. Well, Harry, an awful lot of people are going out on those USO tours. Why don't you volunteer for one of those? Nobody asked me. Harry, nobody asks volunteers to volunteer. Volunteers volunteer. <laughs> Look, Eileen, suppose they did ask me, what could I do? Sit down at the piano and play one of those corny and then I wrote routines? I tell you, I'm useless. All right, useless. Make yourself useful and answer the phone. <laughs> uh, 
Hello. Oh, hello, Margaret. You want Danny to bring home two pounds of hamburger? I don't expect to see Danny today. Oh, he's on the way over here. What? No kidding. Margaret, that's wonderful. Goodbye. Eileen, wait till you hear what just happened. It's terrific. Well, I never heard of anybody getting so excited about two pounds of hamburger. <laughs> it isn't the hamburger. That was Margaret Williams. And she said Danny's going over to Japan to entertain a GIs and he needs an accompanist and he's coming over to talk to me about it. A minute ago, I had nothing to do, and now I'm going to Japan. Harry, <laughs> maybe he hasn't asked you yet. So why would he be coming over here except to ask me? Wouldn't it be wonderful out there with Danny on that stage? I'm not useless anymore. There's something I'm good for. Answer the door. <laughs> Danny, come in. Hello, Harry. How, How are you? Hello, Danny. How Eileen, good to see darling, you. How are you? are looking wonderful. Fine, sweetheart. I haven't got much time. I want you to do me a favor, Harry. I know, I know. What do you mean, you know? Margaret just phoned me. <laughs> oh, well, then she told you. Uh, Eileen, uh, see if you've got some hamburger for Danny. Yes, dear. <laughs> What's the matter? I look undernourished. <laughs> No, Margaret wants you to bring home two pounds of hamburger. Oh. Why buy it? You can have some of ours. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I'd be happy to pay for it. Don't be silly. It's on me. And, Danny, you know what else I'm going to give you? Yeah. Remember that Japanese number we did at the Friars Frolic, the one you always liked so much? Remember? Harry, you're not going to sell me that piece of material, are you? Sell it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, Harry, this is wonderful. You're a great guy. I'm a great guy. Danny, you're a prince. Oh, but Harry, you, you're a man among men. You're a prince among princes. Oh, Harry, are you kidding? I couldn't shine your shoes. Oh, what are you talking about? You're a real prince. Here, prince, here's your hamburger. <laughs> Eileen, make some coffee. Yes, sir. <laughs> Harry, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you giving me this number, especially now. The boys will really love it. You see, I'm leaving on a USO tour next yes, week. Yes, I know Margaret told me, and you don't have to worry about it because I've got all the time in the world. Here's the song, Danny. Oh, this is sensational. Uh, now, uh, you were going to ask me something? Yeah, Harry. Look, I, I don't want to take advantage of our friendship, you understand? But this is really very important to me, and... I figured you're the one guy that can solve my whole problem. Now, I want to ask you, Harry, could you recommend somebody to play piano for me? <laughs> That's why you came up here? To ask me to find a piano player to play for you? Yeah. That's the only reason you came up here? Of course, Harry. What other reason would I have for coming up? I mean, <laughs> after all, uh, you know so many. I mean, uh, uh, could you give me a few names? Well, let's see now. A, a Turby is out on a concert tour. <laughs> Horowitz is on a vacation, and Liberace is accompanying his brother. <laughs> well, look, Harry, you, you certainly must know somebody. I mean, after all, you've been in this business a lot longer than I have. Who do you think you're talking to, Grandpa Moses? <laughs> I don't understand, Harry. Look, I, I, I got to have a real good accompanist, somebody that knows the ropes, you understand? Uh, Besides, I mean, especially doing a number like this, you want me to go over with it, don't you? I don't want you to do it at all. But you just gave it to me, Harry. I'm taking it back. <laughs> hmm. So what you feel about it, Harry? You can't keep the song. I've got it. <laughs> Look, I, I'm asking you to, to help me. I need a piano player. Call the union. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And, uh, give me back my hamburger. <laughs> Serves me right. My mother always told me, never trust anybody with a big nose. <laughs> uh, I just don't understand this, though, Eileen. I mean, they've been friends for such a long time. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't Harry recommend a piano player to him? Wait a minute. Do you mean that Danny came over here to get Harry to recommend somebody else to go on that tour with him? Of course. Oh, no wonder my husband blew his top. Huh? I don't understand. 
Well, Harry thought Daddy was going to ask him to go along, and when he didn't, of course, he was insulted. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Eileen, I suggested that, that Danny ask Harry, but he said, oh, don't be silly, Harry. He's a, a big man in the business. I'd be too embarrassed. Embarrassed? Yeah. Oh, Margaret, there isn't anything in the world that Harry would rather do than go with Danny on this tour. And especially entertaining the soldiers. Honestly, the longer I live, the less I... Margaret, do you want to know something funny about show people? They spend years struggling and slaving for a little recognition and, and security. And always looking forward to that day when the pressure will be off and they can relax. And then finally the day comes and the pressure is off and do they relax? No. No, because they feel that they're not wanted anymore. They feel useless. Margaret, my husband is just like the other fellas. He wants to be wanted. And that's why this whole thing was such a terrible disappointment to him. Oh, gee, and Danny would love to have Harry go with him. Well, of course, they'd be wonderful together. Why don't you tell Danny to call him? Danny, call him? Oh, Eileen, I'm afraid you don't know my husband very well. No, and Danny gets a mad on it. Takes him a long time to get over it. Sounds like a description of my husband, only double in spades. <laughs> Wait a minute, Eileen. What are you and Harry doing tomorrow night? Nothing. Oh, yes, you are. Your husband is taking you to the Club Sirocco. He is? Mm -hmm. And so is mine. I've got an idea how we can get Abbott and Costello together again. <laughs> And now a word from our alternate sponsor, the dependable Dodge dealer in your neighborhood. Streaking down the ice on a bobsled is adventure. Skimming the water in a hydroplane is adventure. And here's the latest in adventure, the newest of the new, as the 56 Dodge Lancer hardtop goes four-door. There is no center post to break the swift sweep of line. From the forward flare of its headlights to its soaring jet tail fins, the 56 Lancer is a wide open invitation to adventure. No longer is the hardtop limited to the luxury lines. Now Dodge brings Lancer styling within easy reach of every pocketbook. And in addition to the four-door Lancers, the 56 Dodge again offers the two-door hardtop, also available in all three price series, including the lowest priced Coronet. Three minutes behind the wheel will prove to you why Dodge for 56 is the value leader of the forward look. How come you got such a big table? You expecting somebody? Expecting somebody? Yeah, expecting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Who would I be expecting? Eileen, what did you want to bring me to a nightclub for? Oh, it'll do you good. It'll take your mind off yourself. We'll have a good time. Let's, let's, let's make out like we're on our anniversary. No, let's make out like we're having a good time. <laughs> I thought you made a reservation. The place is jammed. Well, I mean, for heaven, what a surprise, my goodness. <laughs> Daddy, look who's here, Eileen and Harry. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Harry, Harry, look who's here, Margaret and Danny. Hello, Margaret. Uh, have you got a table, dear? Uh, no, no, we haven't. Oh. That's all right. Why don't you join us? We're leaving. <laughs> Harry, don't be silly, dear, for heaven's sake. Now, there's, there's plenty of room. My goodness, Harry. Here, dear, sit down. Danny, on you go, darling. Well, He's sitting, I'm standing. <laughs> and stand. I don't know. This is my table. I made the reservation. I'm sitting. I'm standing. Oh, now, Harry. Oh, Harry, sit down. You're acting like a child. They all do at his age. <laughs> That's a very funny remark. Where do you get your material? Uh, not from you. Now, Danny, you've gotten some very good material from Harry. Remember, nobody knows, but the Lord was very good. Mm -hmm. Only because of the way I sing it. Is that so? Oh, now, Harry, you do have to admit that Danny does sing it very well. Only because of the way I wrote it. <laughs> Everything you write sounds like a Japanese lullaby. Everything you sing sounds like a Lebanese lament. <laughs> What's the matter with the Lebanese? What's the matter with the Japanese? <laughs> Margaret. Yes? Uh, Margaret, did Danny ever get him an accompanist to take on that tour? No, no, he didn't. You see, he's very fussy, Eileen. He wants someone just like your husband. 
Oh, really? Mm. Well, why doesn't he ask my husband? I don't know. Just stupid, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because actually, you know, my husband is dying to go. Oh, well, then why doesn't he ask my husband? <laughs> Oh, I guess it's because you're not the only one with a stupid husband. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a little announcement to make. We are honored tonight with the presence of a very famous entertainer who has just finished a record-breaking run at the Copa and is about to start off on a tour of the USO with his distinguished accomplice. Let's get him up and have him do a little number. Danny Williams and his accomplice, Harry Ruby. Come on, kid, kid. You mean you're going? You mean you're asking? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm going. <laughs> okay, Malcolm, play. <laughs> mean toy, loved a boy. Happy little Japanese. Who long was his name? Set her heart aflame One day he say Soon I gotta go away When he leave Ming Toy grieve And everybody hear her say You're gonna be gone <laughs> Your little Japanese Will be waiting underneath the bamboo tree So don't be too long long, long, long while you're away Waiting for the day When you come back to me I sit and sigh Need the oriental sky Each day that I Leave you alone in Akasaki. <laughs> so long, too long, how long you gonna roam? Please don't go long, too long, so long, hurry back home. means in the Japanese language, have you pay your income tax? So long, oh long, how long you going around? So don't be too long, oh long, so long, hurry back, too long, oh long, so long, hurry back, too long, oh long, so long, hurry back home. Thanks for letting us visit you tonight. And thanks, too, to Pell Mell Famous Cigarettes, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. And next week, we'll be brought to you by the dependable Dodge dealer in your neighborhood. Join us then, won't you? Good night. by your dependable Dodge dealer and Pell Mell Famous Cigarettes, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes.